for everyone who is new here. My name is Aisha. I'm a foreign model and dentist living here in South Korea and currently I am 30 weeks pregnant. Today I'm going to share with you some hacks about maternity clothes because I actually did a lot of mistakes. First of all, I didn't know what to wear <laughs> because my pre-pregnancy clothing style was very not uh, pregnancy friendly i would say it was mainly high-waisted jeans flared jeans and crop tops which i really early on i couldn't wear like especially the high-waisted uh, jeans very very early i had to change out my closet and i didn't know where to go and buy clothes since i live in korea the first thing that i did was let's see what maternity clothes they have here in korea I never saw maternity clothes in a shop here, so I checked some of the online shops that they have for maternity clothes and all the clothes were like ugly. <laughs> My style was never to wear like mom-like clothes and here maternity clothes are, look really mom-like. But okay, well, if they don't have any nice pregnancy stuff from Korea, I have to go overseas and check. And let me just, go step by step right now stuff that i've learned that i like and then i'm gonna tell you what my mistakes and maybe you can also learn from them i think the most important thing that you need is one pair of pregnancy leggings pretty early my husband bought me a pair of uh, pregnancy leggings they are super nice i love them i started wearing them pretty early on because they are very stretchable so they are not too big for you at the beginning but they still fit me until now and they will very probably fit me the next 10 weeks that i will be pregnant i really like wearing them with just a simple turtleneck it can be cropped up because uh, it's high-waisted and also if you don't like to show too much your um your booty <laughs> then you can just wear them with a long cardigan or another long sweater it looks very nice it looks you look already fully dressed and you're still very very comfortable some people they work in an office right and they still need to look somehow elegant even though they don't want to go into like an office suit and it's very uncomfortable especially the office pants so just styling these leggings with uh one blazer or and a very nice turtleneck also looks very professional already and uh, one last thing that i really love and actually when i don't have any big schedule or i don't meet any people i just go for a walk with my dog or uh, i just uh, have to make some errands or like or also at home i Feel like some of my husband's uh, hoodies oversized hoodies and wear them with some sneakers and uh, the look looks nice but it's still extremely comfortable the second essential in my opinion is first of all let me say I didn't want to buy it but then I was like let me just buy one and I actually bought this maternity jeans from H&M in Korea uh, at the H&M stores they don't have the maternity section so you have to buy online and buying online in general I don't mind because I know my sizes but during pregnancy I didn't know what my size is so actually I was like oh should I buy should I not buy should I buy should I not buy but then I saw I saw like oh they're sale I'm gonna buy on sale at uh, one just one jean I just checked for the most simple one and the cheapest one <laughs> so it came and i must say it's the also one of the items that i have been wearing the most throughout this winter you can make a very simple look with a black turtleneck and you already look like a decent you can again try to make an office look like with a with a black blazer also this looks very nice and you look professional and serious on a relaxed day but that's still like um cold outside you can still wear it with an oversized um sweater i really use this sweater a lot like <laughs> i think i bought this sweater like six or seven years ago in a thrift shop in amsterdam and uh, i'm still wearing it every single winter so i really love this sweater and i'm so happy that i have a combination to wear it even now when i'm pregnant so the 
third essential is of course dresses i think that's the most normal thing that you want to wear during uh, pregnancy but some dresses they just don't look nice i need to tell you that i did a lot of mistakes on buying dresses especially online and i'm gonna share them later when i when i come to the mistakes section but finally i found some very nice dresses again i bought them all on sale my favorite ones are the ones from zara i didn't buy uh, maternity dresses in zara i don't know if zara has a maternity line and the good thing is that they're so stretchable that i still was able to use small size i was thinking back then i i think i bought them like 10 weeks ago so it was still like 20 weeks and i was like okay they're stretchable but let's see how long it will it will last and actually they are like winter dresses so when i would be like high pregnant in march and april maybe these dresses will be too hot anyway s size still looks good and still feels extremely comfortable the most important thing is um that they fit good here another thing that i would have never worn when i'm not pregnant is this type of midi skirt when i was wearing skirts while i was not pregnant i was always wearing like mini skirts so that's why i never knew how how should i style these midi skirts like they're very popular especially here in korea a lot of women they wear these midi skirts when i started to style it i saw that some looks actually look very nice in it and my favorite look is this one that i share it's with the the crop uh, oversized um uh turtleneck and yeah i like this uh this outfit idea also because it's of course very comfortable so let's come to the fifth essential that i think you really need during pregnancy especially in winter is our simple cardigan i saw this cardigan when i was uh shopping at the zara the, the other two dresses that i bought there i saw also this cardigan and i was like usually i would have never bought <laughs> this uh type of cardigan because i'm like this is not my style but then when i started to to match and to style it together with some dresses some like my jeans and like some other like my, my leggings i saw oh, actually it looks nice so i was very happy that i just bought it it was on sale again and also this one is just small size and uh later when i want to wear it uh, maybe i'm also gonna change my my style after being a mom and otherwise if i'm not gonna wear it it's still comfortable to wear just at home if you wear a lot of low waisted pants then it's very um comfortable for you especially during the first 20 weeks of pregnancy when you're not showing that much because you can just use your jeans and then like um, use an elastic band to close them the thing is that i don't even have one pair of low-waisted jeans but i once bought a pair of low-waisted flared jeans actually they these flared jeans they are supposed to be worn the other way around at the beginning of my pregnancy i was still wearing them with crop tops or crop cardigans and um, you might have seen like in some of my videos like i think at the gender re reveal video i was wearing them right now i cannot wear them really with a crop top especially in winter i don't want to like show off so much my belly i can still wear them with a just normal oversized sweater and it looks very nice and cool and like not too much mommy like if you understand what i mean i don't say it's a must have and i don't say you should do it but i think to invest in one or two pieces that you really like that are maternity and that really fit perfectly is very worth it there are two brands that kindly gifted me very nice stuff for pregnancy they are very new brands and i really like their ideas the first one is the momsy it's a very nice overall that you can wear during pregnancy you can open it like you can adjust the size while your belly is growing and the best thing is that you can 
also wear them after pregnancy together with your baby you can use it like as a baby carrier an awesome idea and i just wish for this brand to just rise <laughs> and get very popular another brand that gifted me some clothes was the bump suit they have those very nice overalls that i think are very sexy one thing that you really really struggle with when you're pregnant is that you sometimes don't feel sexy enough in the clothes that you wear especially the clothes that you can wear or the offer that they have on the market for pregnant women i got these two uh, jumpsuits uh, or how do you call it overalls overalls and they're super comfortable like the white one i'm actually just wearing right now i like to come combine it with uh, just simple sweater the black one also very nice the material is very thick both are not see-through they are very warm so uh, it's very good for winter time they're double layered you can make very nice combinations to look a little bit more extra 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 <laughs> now i'm gonna move over to some of the mistakes that i did at the beginning is to size up normal clothes so as i said before i bought a lot of clothes that are non-pregnancy and i also tried to size up at the beginning but the problem is that if you si size up of course the you you will have place for your belly but the whole rest doesn't look good they're too big here and they're too like they're not supposed to be oversized so you can see that they just don't fit rather go buy like clothes that are like very stretchy material and buy your same size as before the last um, mistake that i did and which i like i really had a hard time about it boohoo they have a maternity section and it's pretty it's pretty cheap and they have a lot of stuff so i was like okay maybe i should buy medium sized pregnancy clothes maternity clothes medium sized but even though my pre-pregnancy size was small that's the mistake i did like i bought some dresses from boohoo and i can show them to you and they are all medium sized and they are all too big and i i was thinking yeah okay maybe throughout like my um my last period of pregnancy they will fit me let's see so that was it for my few maternity clothing hacks that i showed you and some of the mistakes that i did and that i really hope you won't do it <laughs> because yeah it's a lot of money that you're just gonna waste i hope you enjoyed this video and you find it um helpful and please let me know in your comments below what you uh, think about this pregnancy maternity clothing hacks and let me know if you already had kids or if you are pregnant what your essentials were during pregnancy and also if you're not pregnant yet if there are some styles that you would consider wearing when you're pregnant and also please subscribe to my channel please also like it it will help a lot with my algorithm and see you next time bye bye